Hey guys, hello and welcome back to part 2 of Shiny Gold X. I'm at NHSD06. Before we begin, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know that I did some off-screen grinding because in this part, there's a very tough trainer battle that without it would be impossible because we can't catch any Pokemon up to this point. So all you're going to be stuck with is your starter. So this is the, this is the level of level 12 Todd. These are his stats, as you can see. Um, any other random encounters from this point, I will run from and I will speed them up using the space bar because I don't want to um, waste any game game time battling. I uh, will not be skipping trainer battles, just random encounters. There aren't any trainer battles up at this point anyway, and we probably won't encounter more than one in this point. So, But if you head up to the right in the northeast corner, you can find one potion. So that technically makes three now, unless you went ahead into the Cherry Grove City and bought some. So we're going to go ahead and head left, because that's where... Oh, wrong way. Head left because that's where Cherry Grove is. Let's uh, let's see what's up here. This is actually a route that you will take advantage of later in the game, but at the moment it's not really too useful. This is Route 46. Yeah, see, nothing really too interesting here. Just Pidgeys and Geodudes, I think. So nothing major. Uh, generally on this route you can get Pidgeys. Sentrets, Hoot Hoots, all the uh, normal flying or just normal type Pokemon that you'd find at the beginning of a game to start you out. And here we have a fruit bearing tree which bears an Oran Berry, nice. I said the word bears a lot right there. And to equip an item such as a berry, you go to the berry pouch, you click on the berry itself, you click give, and then you can give it to your Pokemon. When your Pokemon is um, below half health, that berry will kick in automatically and you will get 10 points of HP back. So we're going to go ahead and talk to this old guy, because we can get an item from him. So he's going to show us around. Uh, the red building obviously is the Poke Center. It heals your health. Uh, it's the Poke Mart. You can get Pokeballs, potions, antidotes, things like that. Route 30 is to the north. And that's where we're headed next. Excuse me. And this is the sea, as you can see. Very funny. And we're going to head back to his house here. And for joining him, we get the town map. Very nice. Okay. Now, since we already have three potions, we might as well uh, stock up on some more. Why not? Potions are only 300 Poke Dollars. So we're going to go ahead and buy seven to make an even ten. And trust me, if you pick Totodile, you will definitely need them for this upcoming trainer battle. It's probably one of the hardest beginning trainer battles I've ever fought in the game. I mean, for good reason, too. I mean, it's intended to be difficult. And it really is. Okay. So there's a Hootoo, like I said. And oddly enough, I found a Wurmple. So occasionally you'll find a Generation 3 Pokemon here and there, but not very often. And that's actually the first random encounter that I've had on the way to Mr. Pokemon's house in about a few recordings. Hello, hello, you must be Patrick. Professor Elm said that you would visit. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. So our errand was to get this egg. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued. So I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon evolution, Professor Elm's the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know it. Aha! So you're Patrick. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old, my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I raided here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of Pokedex. That automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Yay, a Pokedex. Awesome. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get the Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Patrick, I'm counting on you. Oh, great. Useless responsibility. You're returning to Professor Elm? Here, you Pokemon should have some rest. Yay, rest we don't need. Hooray! Yay! I'm depending on you. So much responsibility for, for a child. Alright, so we're going to head back to town. Or not. We get a Pokebeeper message from Professor Elm. <laughs> Hello? Patrick? It's a disaster. Um, it's just terrible. What should I do? It. Oh no. Please get back here now. Alright. Professor Elm's in danger. We need to help him. 
But at this rate, it's gonna take forever. Ugh. Taking the scenic route back. Not really too much to do here at this point. And I recommend uh, saving here for this point just in case you mess up because there's a really tough trainer battle coming up. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and take on this trainer battle, so let's head to the right and prepare for the worst. You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste. A wimp like you. <laughs> Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I do have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. This Pokemon's not great, but the move that it has is ridiculous. Ugh, goodness gracious. We're going to go ahead and battle this question mark fellow. Since it's a Chikorita, it's always the Pokemon that is strong to you. So just think of the typing element. Grass, grass to water, water to fire, fire to grass. Okay, And uh, this Chikorita has the move Razor Leaf. Which is really, really, really obnoxious. So we're going to go ahead and start with a Scratch. And these level ups will come in handy. Hopefully he doesn't critical, because if he does, then we're in danger. Definitely not good. Oh, thankfully he did not critical. So we're going to go ahead and Scratch it again. Just the good old standard method of attacking. You can only do about 11 uh, HP of damage. So we're going to use our Orin Berry. Very useful that you equip that. Go ahead and scratch it. Should only take one more attack. Unless the criticals here, in which we're Ooh, close. Wow. What a close call. And Chikorita goes down. Nice. There we go. 109 XP. Eight or sorry, EXP. And we defeated him. Hmm. Are you happy you won? And we get 800 Poke Dollars. Yay! My name's Skylar. I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Which is strange. That uh, at the beginning of the game, you're supposed to name, they show Gary, or Green, or Blue, or whatever you want to call him. They show him instead of that character, which is weird. Uh, we're going to go ahead and head back to the uh, Pokemon lab to see what's wrong with Professor Elm. I wish we could go faster, but we really can't at this point. And hopefully we don't come into any unavoidable battles, because we only have one HP left. Whew, we made it back. Nice. Alright, so let's see what's the matter. It was a police officer. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. That ginger! What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Oh, so Skylar was his name. Actually, at this point in the game, in like Gold and Silver for the Game Boy, they'd have you uh, input it. Not beforehand. Patrick, this is terrible. Oh yes, what was Professor Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Oh, I said Professor. So we hand him the egg? This? But, is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it's a great discovery. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Patrick, is that true? That That's incredible! He's superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Patrick, you may have what it takes to become the champion. Just from getting a Pokemon, a Pokemon egg, and a Pokedex. You seem to be getting on great. Getting on great with Pokemon too? Getting along? That does make sense. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City. Patrick, the road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Well, okay then. Patrick, use these on your Pokedex quest. And we get Pokeballs, yay! So I believe he gives us five of them. We're going to check that out real quick. Okay, so there's our potions. And in the ball's pocket, we get five Pokeballs. Nice. So it allows you to catch five to round out your team of six. And before... We cut this segment. We're going to go and talk to our mom right quick. Let's see what she needs. Wow, that's a cute Pokemon. Where did you get it? Oh, I had to give her a male voice. Okay. So she doesn't know what she's going to do. She's going to give us the amulet coin. And she's giving us running shoes. So not only the amulet coin when equipped, any trainer battle gives you double the money, and the running shoes when you press B allow you to run. Pretty, uh, pretty confusing, huh? I'll show you that in a moment. So as you can see, now we can run. It's, a little, it's about double the speed of the movement. But uh, yeah, so that's all the time we have for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.